Alrighty, so I am working on a strawberry cake and I am trying out uh, parts of a recipe that I saw online. And so I've got about two cups of frozen, uh, they'd been fresh berries that I had packed and frozen about uh, six months ago. And I'm going to be cooking these and when they're nice and soft, I am going to puree them and then reduce that puree and that's going to be part of my cake mix. Alrighty, so the strawberries have been cooking a little while. They are now all nicely defrosted. You can see that yes indeed I have a cake box mix. And this cake box mix is a angel food cake which does not have eggs. The only thing you add to that normally is water. Um, it says to add a cup and a quarter of water, so I'm going to consider how much of the liquid I'm going to be replacing with these strawberries, which I'm now going to grind up with my stick blender. I'm moving it up and down so that chunks can get under the blades. I'm knocking it off. Almost there. stick blender quickly and easily. That's with a glass of water that hopefully this fits into. Ah, no, no, too small. All right, we have resorted to a plastic container because I don't think any of my glasses are that big. My former stick blender, I think, had a little bit smaller head. This is a brand new one that my husband got me um, because I asked for it for well, not as worried about the shaft as I am the head. Make sure that it looks all good. Fabulous. And you can take it apart. Um, that is usually all of the maintenance I want to do to my stick blender. So making sure we get that taken care of every time we use it and as soon as we can especially for anything that could, could potentially be sticky, is great. All right. Ah, one more. Shoot. We're just going to pull you out. You live there now. All right. And as you can see, as a home cook, we make mistakes. We fix our mistakes. I could either mesh that up and put it back in or leave it out and just eat it later personally. I will probably just leave it out. All right, so I'm gonna to try to reduce this so it's gonna sit here and cook on, let's do half power. Um, and I'm gonna be keeping an eye on it while I'm doing some other things, but we're trying to reduce this and stir it uh, at least once every minute or so. We're concentrating this down and we don't wanna burn it or anything like that. And we will be back with the next step here in a minute. This is getting there. I'm going to continue to stir it and reduce it for a while. Okay, that has reduced down enough, I think. I've turned off the heat and we're going to let it cool down before we do anything else. Alrighty, we are going to make a strawberry angel food cake today. Um, I have no idea if this is going to work. Um, I had gotten the idea for a strawberry cake using uh, strawberry uh, puree as the flavoring 
and they were adding it to a plain white cake, but I don't have the number of eggs that I would like to use today available. So I had this old angel food cake mix in the cabinet and decided, what the hell, we'll give it a try. So I have a larger and smaller cake pan prepared, and prepared in this case just means clean and dry, uh, because uh, angel food cakes cling to the side of the pan as part of their raising process. Alrighty, so we need a cup and a quarter of liquid. So I have a half a cup of the strawberry puree that we've made and cooled. And I am going to pour that in. And I am going to start with three quarters of a cup of water, which will be the volume. And as you can see, it's got strawberry stuff in it because there was still strawberry in there. much of that in there as I can. Alrighty. And because we just have a simple uh, cake recipe today, I'm going to use uh, my Dutch mixer. And just make sure that this is nice and smooth. thing about these is the, the double hoops and everything makes uh, mixing things really easy as long as you don't have to like cream butter. Basically uh, this is my go-to when I'm not using either of my electric mixers. Alrighty, that looks good. Mmm, that tastes good. Mm, that tastes good. Mmm. Well, I hope this works. I need a spatula. Here we go. And I'm going to put a portion in each cake pan carefully. seems to be activating the I've got a bit of dry stuff in the bottom so I'm going to stop part way and because you know accidents happen again we're we're home cooking so I've mixed it now and I'm checking the bottom to make sure there isn't any dry stuff and we're going to put one scoop into this one Spread this around. Alrighty. Oh boy, that is tasty. Let's see. How long are we cooking this for? Let's see. Mm, sort of an angel food pan, but I've got a shallow one. Or loaf pans, it's saying 35 to 45 minutes. So let's plan for about 35. And let me see here. Now, I am putting actually in strawberry cakes. They go in at the same temperature. So we're gonna start with about uh, 10 more minutes for that sweet potato bread. All right, and we will come back and check the sweet potato bread in 10 minutes and then check on the uh, strawberry uh, angel food cake uh, shortly. 
Okay, the cakes have been pulled out and they've been flipped over. Um, angel food cake is a particular sort of cake that uh, doesn't have grease in the pan. It clings to the sides to raise and you have to cool it flipped over. Um, so we will come back to it when it is uh, ready to flip over.